How's it going everybody? My name is Finpire and we are playing Fallout 4. Been waiting ages for this game to come out, so I'm fucking really happy that it's finally out. Been keen to do a playthrough on this one. Um, this first episode though will probably be fairly, you know, pretty thorough I'd say. Try and keep in most of the story and things like that. I'll only really cut something out if I get like fucking lost for ages or something. You know, stuff that's not really critical to the story. Because I kind of want to, you know, progress as far as we can in this first episode without making it too long. After that though, I'll pro I don't think I'll sort of do a series where I'll stick to the main story. It'll probably be more like a, you know, an adventures of type thing. So, you know, just go and exploring various places or if I'm playing it and I find like a cool fucking vault or ruins or something to explore, then I'll probably record that and put an episode up for you guys. But let's go ahead and hit new. Yep, confirm new game. All right. Hopefully this uh, doesn't take too long to load. It's a massive game. I'm hoping we don't start in a vagina like we did in Fallout 3. Oh, here we go. All right. So I'll, tr you know, I'll probably shut the fuck up during the story bits, so I won't be talking a great deal. This is cool. I like the, uh, I like the kind of visual art style that they've sort of gone with. It's a little bit different to Fallout 3. War. Is that CGI? War never changes. It looks a lot like live action. That's kind of cool. In the year 1945, my great great grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife hmm. and the son he'd never seen. Definitely live action. He got it's cool though. Wish. When the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science hmm. fiction. Yeah, check it out. Domestic robots, fusion powered cars, portable computers. There's a shitty looking pit boy. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. The kids like killing each other? Years of consumption led to Fucking hell, man, that's brutal. Major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. Holy shit. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. We got like a. Oh, I thought we were gonna say we had a power armor. It's that war. War never changes. All right, so maybe we start out before the war. That's that's pretty interesting. That's a lot different to the other Fallout games. Oh, here we go. All right, so I've seen this in the, uh, you know, in the gameplay trailer. I think they had maybe an War E3. Never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? I need to turn up my volume. It's a little bit quiet. Get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. There we go. All right, here we are. Just a couple staring at ourselves in the mirror. How fucking vain is that? Okay. All right, what can we do? Oh, shit. That's a, that's a little bit old. Alright, I don't want to spend too much time doing this, because you can spend fucking hours, man, trying to make the right character. Alright, I, I kind of wanted to go for like a Steve Buscemi look, but um, yeah, I didn't think they'd let me age just the eyes by 50 years, so I don't think that'd work. Look at this guy. Jeez, he's a sexy motherfucker. He's kind of got like a David Beckham thing going on. That's pretty cool. And he's wearing one of those haircuts that all the cool kids are wearing at the moment. That's kind of cool too, I guess. I can like move the cursor around all over his face and shit. Okay, I'm kind of liking the look of this guy. Maybe his nose could do with a bit of shrinking. Sculpt? How do we, how do... 
Oh my god, you can actually just move it around. Before, like, previously you had sliders and stuff and you'd move the slider left and right. Alright, oh man, look at this guy. This is one sexy dude, even I'd pants him. Alright, okay. Oh, I'm happy. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> you know you love it. Alright, that's cool, man. I'm happy with that. Alright, I just had to fix, uh, invert Y was on and I can't handle that in, like, first person games. Codsworth. You fucking genius. Thanks, champ. Where's my coffee? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Drink. It's, it's, we didn't even pick it up. We didn't pick it up. That's, that's amazing how he drank that coffee without even picking it up. This guy's a fucking legend, man. It's like some kind of a coffee drinking wizard. Krognak, activate. Krognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Cool, man. So I'm guessing that at some point, like, Fallout's gonna hit. Or, you know, like a, a bomb's gonna hit or something and we're gonna have to fucking run to the shelter. That's what I'm guessing is gonna happen. Oh. Sean. Baby Sean. We're gonna let a robot change the fucking baby. Are you serious? <laughs> guy's got... Guy's got, like, flames shooting out of his ass. How can that be safe around a baby? How, how old school is this TV? That's what I love about this game. It's got that sort of... You know, like 40s sort of art style to it, like the decoration and shit. Probably is. Maybe I should get a knife. Maybe I should just to stab the guy in the stomach. That's a thing, right? People do that. Hello, sir. Um, Vault Tech? Vault Tech? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You just want my money, you motherfucker. The foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where okay. you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. This guy knows what's up. He knows what's coming. I know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Why does he seem so keen to get me in the vault? That's what I want to know. Yeah, urgency. So important. Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir... I wonder if vault tech like, caused the bombs or something. Basket. Maybe. Maybe they're to blame. My language. The big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Maybe. Now, I know you dodgy bastard. Fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Um, mm -hmm. Precious commodity. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And you're fucking wasting it. <laughs> Hurry up. Your family service to our country. You have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Amazing. Amazing. Was it was Vault 11 in Fallout 3 or was that Vault 101? Could have been Vault 101. I can't remember. I can't remember. All right. Sounds great. Sounds great. Let's do oh, it. it Sign me up. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Great, yeah. Fantastic. He kind of used those words lightly, doesn't he? All right. Um, let's just go yes. Sure, let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Where's the pen? Where do I sign? Oh, cool, man. Here's where we get to choose. Nice. Been wanting to do this. All right. What are we going to call this guy? What are we going to call him? All right. Let's go. Because we've got to pick. We've got to pick like what we want him to be as well. Like sort of what kind of character. And I wanted to sort of go for mainly like melee or something like that. So we'll probably want like strength and things. So let's call this guy H uh, Punch and stuff. <laughs> Brilliant. Because I want this guy to be, you know, just going around, just whacking things. Maybe do a bit of unarmed combat as well. So that's pretty cool. All right, strength. Let's put strength up to like seven. A um, little bit of perception. A little bit of endurance. Plenty of charisma. Plenty of agility. And a bit of luck. All right. So basically, this guy's just... A, a, a strong idiot like a, a strong but charming idiot which is pretty good I'm happy with that 
Yeah, he's got no intelligence. Maybe, actually, maybe we should just bump up the intelligence just a little bit. There we go. Let's, uh, let's accept that. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations. This guy seems, like, really fucking edgy. Like he knows the bombs are actually Again. falling right now or some shit. Peace of mind. Listen, Gee, she wears a pants high, doesn't she? I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sounds fun. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, mom, you should come and see this. Come and see what? What's wrong? Yes, followed by. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. Shit is getting real. Can I sit down? Can I sit on the... Oh, nice. Cool, man. Jesus Christ, we got shoulders like John Cena. My God, what? What the fuck? Let's go! Let's go! Let's run! <laughs> I just signed up! I didn't even know where the vault is! What the fuck's that about? Alright, where's Sean? Oh, did she get Sean? <laughs> we, she's got Sean. Okay, I should probably listen. Whoa. This is cool. It feels like a street. Look at all these people and shit. Oh, nice one. Man, look at these graphics. They're fucking gorgeous. Far out, man. This game looks nice as. Can I talk to the neighbor? <laughs> she doesn't want to chat. She doesn't want to get exploded. That's that's what's up. Holy shit! Do we go to talk to this guy? Excuse me. You gonna let me in or what? We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Come on, champ. Adult male. Adult female. Jesus Christ! Look at that fucking power armor. It looks so much better than what it does in Fallout 3 and, and New Vegas. I don't know if it's because it actually looks new and it's not covered in shit. Like, uh, you know, like after the war, everything just gets covered in fucking crud and stuff. Alright. Okay. Where's my wife? Where's my wife? Come on, Nora. Up you get. Up you get, you sexy bitch. Are we, are we heading down? I think I'm standing too close to this guy. I'm invading his personal space. <laughs> Holy fuck! Whoa! Yeah! What the hell, man? That's crazy! I think I just got a haircut. <laughs> fuck! Everyone's dead! Surely those people would be dead now. Those guys would be like fucking bacon. We did it. We made it. We did. Nice one. How's Sean? Is he burnt? No. Sean. Everyone, please step off the elevator. <laughs> Sean looks as fake as what he did before. That's good. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Nice. Vault 111. That's cool. Underground. Man, this game looks nice. This looks really fucking good. I can't believe how nice this game looks. I, it, uh, you know, it automatically detected my settings and it said that I should set everything to ultra. So that's what it's on at the moment. I'm just hoping my computer doesn't catch fire. Yeah, alright. So much stuff to look at, man. Okay, alright. Where's my fancy ass blue suit? Thanks. Cheers! Where do I put it on? Oh, here's a doctor. Hey, buddy. Hey there. Follow me. Okay. It's down the hallway. Start walking. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. I, I just noticed nobody has any shadows. That's a bit weird. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in DC. Howdy. Hey there. How you doing? Oh, oh, okay, alright. Man, she's got the booty. I hope Nora didn't see that. Something seems a bit odd with this place. So many people talking. It's cool. It all feels very sort of dynamic, you know. At uh, what? Oh, decontamination pod. How would we be contaminated? Okay, doesn't matter. I guess we'll get in. 
just realized. I feel like I'm about to be fucking cryogenically frozen or something. Okay. I'm getting a little bit sort of claustrophobic. What's going on? Are you gonna... In five, what? Four, three, Those motherfuckers froze me! One, they didn't say anything about freezing, they said decontamination. Fucking hell, man. I wonder how many years it's been. That's some crazy shit. I just noticed my tongue is blue again. Yeah, I had one of those blue lollies again earlier on, because it's late. It's very late, it's like after midnight, and, uh, you know, I needed some sugar to wake me up. This is the one. Here. What are you doing with Nora? Open. What's on your face? What's on her face? That person's face. Unless they're wearing like a suit or something and a weird mask. <laughs> what the fuck? What are you doing with my kid? Where's my damn kid? I wonder if this is going to be one of those stories where I need to find my wife and my child. The They're taking the fucking baby! You motherfucker. What the hell, man? Who the fuck is this guy? Jesus Christ! They killed Nora! Those fucking cunts! Who is that guy? I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm mad. I'm really mad. They killed my fake wife. Well, she's she's real in the game, but she's not a real person because this is a video game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit! Okay. All right. Let's vacate. Let's get the fuck out of here. Holy shit, man! We can't walk. Probably been frozen for fucking ages. Exit Vault 1. Nice! That's cool, we actually get to leave right away! Oh man. Come on! There has to be a release! You fucking bastard. Can we. Come on, come on, come on! Can we open it? Come on, open it up. Open it up! She's like a fucking popsicle. I'll find who did this. Oh, we took the wedding ring. Okay, all right. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I'll get Sean back. Can we take her with us? Maybe we could... What if we, like, froze her? And then... I don't know. Maybe in the future... <laughs> they'll find a way to heal fatal bullet, bullet wounds, perhaps. All right. How do we get the fuck out of here? Where are we going? Where are we going? Is that... Okay, all right. There's doors all over the place, man. Is that a rad brooch? Fucking rad brooches, man, already. I hate those things. They're gross. Alright, where are we going? I'm lost. I guess I'll just follow the tunnels. Do we have a weapon? These things aren't oh I can punch them. <laughs> that's right. Because that's our name. Alright, how do I how do I punch? Oh, aim down, aim down. <laughs> just fucking punch it. Should I take the rad roach meat? Let's do it. Let's do it. What the hell? So everything's like abandoned, it looks like. Okay, maybe I could, could I find like a, like a bat or something to whack some shit with? Just fucking go to town. Actually, what's this over here? Do I need to, alright, need to go this way. Yeah, we can explore. Actually, there's a computer there. What's the computer doing? Is this thing working? Recreation terminal, okay. Welcome to Robco Industries Termlink Vault Tech Recreation Terminal. Let's play tape. Oh, hollow tape. That's like a game. Red Menace. This is cool. Help. Ah, uh, it's like uh, it's like Jumpman. How high can you get? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Depends what we're smoking. All right, let's do it. Oh man, this is cool. This is kind of fun. All right, how do we climb? How do we climb? That's how we climb. I have to watch out for the bombs. I don't have to jump anything. Okay, now here comes some barrels. Here comes some barrels. Oh, fuck. Did I... What the hell just happened? Oh, I think I picked up a power-up. That actually... Are they gonna come down the stairs? Yes, they will. Alright, let's go here. And then we'll climb up here. Look at me, nailing this game. Oh, we got hit. 
All right, fuck this game. <laughs> we'll play that later. Do it next time. Okay, I didn't eject the tape. Can I eject the tape? Uh, eject tape. Nice, we got the tape. That's cool. Red Menace, so that's the game. All right, how do we get out of here? That's a motherfucking skeleton. What the hell, man? Where is everyone? Yeah, what year is it? Because I, I mean, I'm guessing, I'm guessing the game's set in like the 40s. Well, before the fallout. So, oh shit, another one, another two. All right, just punch them, punch you. Nice. It's a good thing we got all that strength for fucking punching just roaches. All right, let's head outside. Another skeleton. It must take a long time for a body to get to that stage. Okay. Oh, we can we can take a gun. Okay, what else we got? Stim packs. Cool. Need the stim packs. They're the health in this game. Just in case you've never played Fallout before, I'll give you the info. It's okay. Nice. What is that thing? Coming back later for you. Oh fuck yeah! What is it? It's like a cryo later case. Maybe it freezes people. That's fucking cool. Okay, uh, cryolator. I've long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portal on demand form. The cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in sh no short supply of the chemicals and components I need to tinker with a prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all clear signal. Okay. All right, how do we, uh, oh, here we go. Vault 111 Overseer Instructions. Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Those fuckers. Your staff will be on short-term assignment to monitor basic cardiopulmonary and cognitive functions. Long-term monitoring will be handled by remotely, will be handled remotely by vault -Tec technicians. Under no circumstances is suspension to be disrupted. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. Your staff is also considered expendable, insubordination, or attempts to evacuate prematurely. Yep, okay. All right. Let's head the fuck out. Let's do it. Let's go. So, they took Sean. I'm guessing there's a reason behind that, and it may be that... All right, let's just, yeah. Let's... Oh, shit. Okay, so there's a few of them. <laughs> fuck. <gasps> no! Uh, okay, just... Yep, that's it. All right. I'm kind of glad I have a... I'm uh, kind of glad I have a gun now. Cool. Did I get him? Did I get him? No. Fuck. Roaches, man! They shit me. Is anyone alive? Doesn't uh, doesn't seem that way. Did anyone get out? Everyone's dead. Oh, nice one, <laughs> fucking pit boy. That's cool. Let's pop this bad boy in our arm. That's fucking sweet as. Man, this thing looks so awesome. Turn it on. Turn it on. Let's do it. How's our vitals? All right, so Rad's is pretty low. That's good. All right. Nice! We can change the screens there. Inventory, we've got weapons. We can equip things, unequip things. Alright, standard, standard Pip-Boy stuff. Uh, let's open up the vault. Let's do it. Okay, so it looks like you use it to open the vault doors. Cool, man. This is cool. I love getting out of the vault and you get like the, you just the brightness sort of hits you. It's very cool. They always kind of, you know, get the effects really good in that. Do I go down here? Or is the, or is the thing gonna open up? How the fuck do I do it? Oh, there must be a gate or something. I'll just wait. I'll just wait. Stop being impatient. Here it comes. There we go. Whoa, that's cool, man. Look at that daylight. All right, open up the gate. I'm ready to leave. I'm ready to do this. All right, why isn't the gate opening? <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck inside. This is it. It's game over. Roll credits. All right. So, um... Oh, okay. I could just push it. <laughs> Fuck. Never even tried. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's just keep going. Let's pretend that never happened. It'd be fine. Let's do it. Uh, no, no, I'm pretty happy with everything. I'm ready to leave. 
Let's get the fuck out of here. I didn't really have a choice, did I? I like that they don't really keep you in the vault for very long. I remember in Fallout 3, you were in the vault for, you know, quite a little while before you ended up actually getting out. Whereas New Vegas, you, you started out of the vault. So that was pretty cool too. Because you kind of just want to get into exploring the wasteland, you know? Whoa, everything's all fucking blurry and stuff. Bloody hell, man. G'day, birds. How we doing? This game looks fucking phenomenal. It really does. This looks so fucking cool. I wonder if all the vault entrances are gonna be like that. Because that's, uh, that's a lot different to how they were in previous games. They were more like a, you know, just like a hole in the wall that was sort of plugged up. Like a normal vertical door, I guess. Now the thing with this game is that typically if you go in the wrong direction to begin with when you first start, you generally run into some pretty fucking tough enemies, ones that'll just be quite happy to just hand your ass to you. Man, look at these people! Jesus fucking Christ! Oh, press left stick to sprint. I don't really want to be in a situation where I need to sprint right now. Look at this place, man. It's just completely destroyed. It's like Mother Nature used Earth to wipe its ass. Discovered Sanctuary. Nice! So... It looks like the same fucking street, but it's just all fucked up. This is nuts. I wonder what year it is. Hey, it's Codesworth! Hey, buddy! <laughs> yep, it's me! It is, yep. What happened? Every, uh, how do we go? What happened? <laughs> I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. I love this guy. So this guy's awesome. With you and Mrs. Back. Nope. Where is your so sorry about that. She did. Uh, they killed her. There we go. They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a yes. Is the lad, uh, No. No, he's not. He's been kidnapped. They Charles fucking took him. Been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. Yeah, let's do it. I mm -hmm. 200 years. Hunger induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that. I'm a fucking hell, man. Okay, all right. Can we can we leave? We can leave. All right, I'll, I'll talk to you later, Codsworth. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. We'll chat later. We'll chat later. It's okay. You sort out the geraniums. I'll, I just need to, I need to fucking collect my thoughts, man. This is crazy. Man, I can't believe how fucking amazing this game looks. This is really cool. All right. I could, I could probably keep playing this for fucking ages, but it's, I think it's already been about half an hour now. So I, I wanted to keep this video kind of short. I might have to cut a little bit out of it. Otherwise, Wow, that's fucking cool, man. This game is gorgeous. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! I think that's a one of those blowflies. What do they call them? A bloat fly? All right, I'm just gonna go over here. Pretend I didn't see it, cause I'm not quite ready to punch some stuff yet. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna leave the video here. I can't wait to get into some more of this. Like I said, we're just gonna do some exploring and things like that. Maybe do a little bit of the story, but it's gonna be more like just side quests and just exploring vaults and ruins and building our own stuff. You can build stuff in this game. So that's cool, that's a new feature. But thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give us one of these ones and I'll see you guys next time. Look at them. You don't wanna just poke them, you wanna stab them. I mean, not, not stab them. Oh, that's how we do it. What, why are you just get? That guy's head just exploded. It just exploded. <laughs>